Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform a photo of any structure into an architect's blueprint drawing. This image is 1500 by 950 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Make a copy of your background by pressing Ctrl or Command plus J. Go to Filter, Stylize, and Find Edges. Remove all the colors by pressing Ctrl Shift U or Command Shift U on a Mac. Let's lighten and brighten it by adjusting the levels. Press Ctrl or Command plus L. I'll change the input highlights to 176 and the input shadows to 19. Depending on the size, resolution, and characteristics of your image, you may want to adjust these numbers. I found this paper texture at cgtextures.com. I'll include a direct download link in the description area of this tutorial. We need to get this texture into the blueprint document. Press Ctrl or Command plus A to select it and Ctrl or Command plus C to copy it. Click on the tab of your blueprint document and press Ctrl or Command plus V to paste the texture into it. Remove the color from the texture and we'll rename it Paper. Invert the foreground and background colors by clicking on the little double arrow or the letter X. Call up your brush tool and use a large size brush. I'm using a point size of 800 pixels. Make the blend mode soft light and choose an opacity between 40 to 45 percent. Now brush over the center area to lighten it. Drag the blueprint layer to the top. Press Alt or Option as you hover your cursor between the two layers. When you see a clipping mask symbol appear, click down. This makes the layer affect only the one layer beneath it. Change the Blend Mode to Linear Burn. Click the New Layer icon and make this into a clipping layer as well. Click on the foreground color and type in 0036A5, then press Enter or Return. We'll fill the layer with this color by pressing Alt or Option plus Delete. Change the Blend Mode to Screen. Go to the New Layer icon and press Ctrl or Command as you click on it. This made a new layer below the active layer. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask next to the active layer. Click on the empty layer to make it active and call up your Rectangular Marquee Tool. Click on the upper left area of your document and drag out a rectangle to the lower right. Go to Edit and Stroke. We'll make a black stroke of 3 pixels and keep it inside. To delete the selection, press Ctrl or Command plus D. The border is blue because it's beneath the blue clipping layer in the Layers panel. Let's rough up the border to make it blend in more with the blueprint. Click on the layer mask to make it active and call up your brush tool. Call up your brushes and click on the inside arrow. This will call up your list of brush presets. I'm using a set I named Marks and Scratches. You can download many distressed and grunge type brushes for free at BrushEasy.com. When this window comes up, click OK so we'll just see this set of brushes in the thumbnails window. I'll click on one of the thumbnails and decrease the size a bit. I'll brush over the border which is actually revealing the paper texture through the borders layer mask. I want to decrease the size of the blueprint drawing to fit inside the border we just made. Click on the blueprint drawing to make it active, call up your transform tool and go to a corner. Press shift and alt or shift and option and then drag in. To accept it press enter or return. The edges of the drawing are cut off too cleanly, so let's rough it up a bit. Click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the drawing. Using the same brush as before, brush over the edges of your drawing. Next, we'll add our text. Call up your type tool and click on your character text box. I'm using a font called Wolkarth Bold, which you can download for free at fontspace.com. Click on your document and type out your text. To move it, call up your Move tool, click on your text and move it. I'll click on my Type tool again and press the underscore line on my keyboard 
and move it under my text. I'll add one more line of type, highlight it, and slide the point size down to fit under the other text. I'll call up my Move tool to reposition it. Using these simple techniques, you can transform anything into an architect's blueprint drawing. You can invert it and even add some water stains to give it a completely different blueprint look. You can find water stain brushes at BrushEasy.com. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.